Welcome to Online Learning, prepared by Teacher Edward James from Patumsuk Sak 5, Anuban Taksin, Bankai International School. This video recording is for educational purposes only. My name is Teacher Edward and I am your speaker for today. Topic, Constellations. Here are the questions that we are going to answer today. What are examples of constellation? What is the pattern of the paths of the rising and setting of stars? What is the rotation and revolution of the earth? What can you share about constellation? Let's begin. For our vocabulary words for today, here are the words. First word, constellation. I want you to read this word after I read them. Okay, so you need to repeat each word. I will begin. Number one, constellation. Constellation. Number two, imagination. Imagination. Number three, the North Star. The North Star. Number four, Orion. Orion. Constellation. Constellation is a group of stars forming a recognizable pattern. So, we have this what we call zodiac sign. If, for example, my birthday is on August 20, uh, August 14. So, my zodiac sign is twin, uh, Leo. Okay? And you can search in the internet also what is your zodiac sign okay we will discuss this one uh, later the next word is imagination the act or power of forming a mental image of something not present to the senses or never before fully perceived in reality so like you can see in the picture a little girl is playing with the stars and planets that is just an imagination next word the north star the north star is the start of the northern hemisphere towards which the axis of the earth points it is also called the pole star you see here this is a very bright star and since thailand is in the northern hemisphere uh, we can see this north star at night okay the next word is orion orion is a constellation on the equator east of taurus represented on charts by the figure of a hunter with belt and a sword okay so that is the orion now here is another picture of orion how many big stars can you see one two three four five six seven eight all right so there are eight uh big stars that you can see in this orion constellation now let me connect the dots okay Now, I want you to pause this video and I want you to think what is the shape of this uh, or what is the image that is uh, this Orion star is forming to. Okay, some of you may think that this is a house or a, a bird or a cat. But it's not complete. Let's put on some of the stars like this. Okay. And all 
right? Mm -hmm. So these are all the stars that we can connect on the Orion constellation. What do you think is this? So the people in the old days, they used their imagination uh, to tell stories like this one. This is the Orion constellation. And when people in the olden times, they think of it as a person like this. Okay? And uh, this is Orion. Orion in Greek mythology, I'm sure you are familiar, some of the character of the Greek mythology like Pegasus, uh, the winged horse, there is also uh, Poseidon, Zeus, okay? And this Orion, or uh, in other movies, the name is Homer, uh, he is the one who is a very big uh, human is like a, a giant and he is a very handsome man and uh, he killed he was killed by Artemis okay according to the legend of Greek mythology okay so here this is another picture or depiction of the Orion constellation and uh, Next one is, uh, I will show you a video explaining a little bit of the introduction of uh, stars in the sky. Okay, so another example that is a very common uh, constellation that we can see in the sky is the Big Dipper. Maybe if the sky is clear tonight, you can go outside and find this. How many stars? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven stars. Maybe you can go outside no? tonight and see if you can find the big deeper. It looks like a spoon, right? It looks like a spoon. But uh, some people think or imagine this as part of the Orsa Major or the another name of Orsa Major is the Great Bear because you see uh, there are seven stars and here look at the tail one two three four five six seven there are seven stars here also so the big deeper is part of a very big bear or called the Orsa Major Constellation. Another example is the Orsa Minor or the Little Bear. You see that there is the big deeper here. There is also a small one. Okay, when I was a kid, me and my sister used to watch this uh, Orsa Major and Orsa Minor. A little and a big bear. Okay? The rise and set of stars takes place because the Earth spins around its axis. So we can see stars change their position. Okay, so the stars are moving from, uh, we can see it moving because the Earth is spinning. In the Northern Hemisphere, stars, stars rise in the east and sets in the west in the same way as in southern hemisphere okay so whether you are in the world uh, the, ra the sun always rises in the east and it will set in the west but people in the southern hemisphere will see different constellations okay so have different countries you can see different stars as well all right so here are the zodiac sign we have aries taurus gemini cancer leo virgo libra scorpio sagittarius capricorn aquarius and pisces so you can look at your birthday when is your birthday and you can find for example, me is August 14. So, August 14 is here, Leo. Okay? So, Leo is my zodiac sign. 
And here are the stars or the stars or constellation that you can see. Okay? And always remember that Leo, for example, you can see Leo between uh, July 23 to August 22. Every year, you can see uh, this Leo constellation in the sky. Every year. Not every week, not every day, not every month, but every year only. That is why uh, if uh, today is August 22, uh, no, August 27, okay? Or maybe you can see this video in August 28. You can see that August or oh, December 28. So here, December 28 is actually... Uh, Capricorn okay so you can see the Capricorn if you go outside tonight here Capricorn all right so here are the pictures Aries is like a mountain goat Taurus is uh, a bull Gemini is like a twin Cancer is a lobster Leo is a lion Virgo is like uh, a woman a mermaid Libra, Scorpio is a scorpion, Sagittarius is the half human and half horse, we have a Capricorn, uh, it's like a goat but it has a tail of a fish, so that's Capricorn, we have Aquarius, it talks about water, and Pisces is a fish, okay, so uh, what do you think? I want you to pause the video and I want you to think what animal or object you can see in this constellation. Yes, the correct answer is dragon because look at the name, it's Draco. Okay, so Draco means the dragon. What about this? The name of this is Hercules constellation. And of course, it is depicting to the famous character who is Hercules in Greek mythology. Alright, so I hope you learned something today. And if you want to study more, you can uh, try to open your book or search in Google. Uh, if you want to look at the 88 constellations. Ptolemy, a very famous astronomer before, had identified 48 constellations but as of today there are 88 in total uh, recognized constellations okay so i uh, prepared a short quiz to all of you in kahoot.it i the link will be posted down below and uh I will send the video, the link in the video, and then I will send also the link to all of you, okay? So, good luck and happy holidays, everybody. Goodbye.